hello guys welcome back in the project now in this video straight we are going to work to so start work or the view products part sorry view orders part inside this admin panel so if you can uh, observe over here inside the online uh, database we have a table orders so in the orders table basically there are orders yes we know that but the values we have are very very close I mean only PID only CID quantity and invoice number and things like that so you know this is very uh, very difficult job but easier job also to display the relevant people I mean the customers and the products that we must know which product is to deliver so we'll post them here but for that we'll simply go to I mean to customers folder and we'll just uh, copy the my orders page from here and we'll create a new page and we'll cha make changes I mean simply go to code editor and edit the code we'll just simply control A to select all we'll copy with control C and now we'll open notepad So we'll uh, open Notepad and inside Notepad we will simply paste this code and we'll save this page actually inside the admin area. It will be view underscore orders dot php. That's it. Now need to actually work on this. Uh, we will say view all first of all we will change the first td I mean the simple text inside the h2 text view all orders here that's it now serial number quantity invoice number order date status uh, status will change the status to action or ok action is ok now the next thing is that uh, I mean uh, includes database has been included now we are getting the user user session customer email that in that no 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 we don't need this because we have the ID of the user uh, I mean this time we don't need this I just remove this all tell here I mean the customer data I will remove this and we'll say uh, get orders get order select all from orders okay select all from orders so we then say run order ok run order now inside the the run order query we have got I mean using this while loop we have got order ID quantity product ID invoice number order date status and also we have customer ID or, out there so customer ID we will get over here see underscore ID is equal to row order and that's C underscore ID I'm actually talking about this table we have inside here I mean the orders table order ID PID CID quantity invoice number and things like that so we are actually talking about that so this is the simple page I mean the view underscore orders page for payment uh, I mean for admin panel so we have got these things I mean all the details the data from the orders table now we will say get the product which product has been ordered so we say where, where ID is equal to this uh, ID now this at this moment we are ju just uh, establishing relationship between two tables because we have the product ID here inside the orders uh, table now 
using that product ID we are getting the products from the products table so we say get pro select out from products where product ID is equal to this ID and we are running the query and then we are using MySQL fetch array we got the image in the title of that so in same like that we can after that say get underscore C means get the customer and we'll say uh, select all uh, from customers where customer underscore ID is equal to this one I mean we have inside the the orders table which is C underscore ID that's it so we are getting the customer now uh, say run underscore C is equal to mysqli is equal to underscore query then connection and then we say uh, get C get underscore C that's it now we need only the email of the person so we know that who who's who has ordered so we can communicate with them via email so I'll simply say uh, row underscore C another variable it will be mysql uh, I fetch array and we'll give that this variable as a reference run C the query and after that we simply need customer C underscore email equal to uh, row C row C is basically the fetch the array in which we are fetching the data from the table so we need email from the tables customer customer underscore email that's it we have got this customer email from this customers table yes customer underscore email that's fine now uh, now everything is okay we know who has ordered uh, what they have ordered and uh, you know we know the other details quantity etc and uh, simply product title product image that's okay quantity invoice number and uh, before uh, in the first place we will simply echo the C underscore email I mean the customer email so we have that and uh, we can simply uh, add a link here and the last thing I mean the status will remove the status from here as well don't need the status variable and uh, we'll simply say we'll give a link uh, ah sorry ahrab is equal to index.php view underscore details sorry index.php confirm underscore order is equal to that variable I mean will echo uh, order ID okay so if you want to confirm now we'll say uh, complete order that's it what we are doing actually I mean, let me let me tell you that we have created a confirm underscore uh, order URL variable get variable and we have echoed uh, we have echoed the order ID that we already have here which is coming from the orders table with the that order so we have echoed that so when we want to when we the owner of the website or the admin of the website we send the product to that person I mean we process the order and we have sent that product to the person so we can just click this to complete the order so we can then uh, automate I mean uh, we can update that table the customer orders table so the status of the order will be completed inside the customer account as well as in our account so that's it and now we can simply save this page from here save all 
this is view underscore orders page and uh, this is inside the Zenf and HDocs and there is e-commerce and inside e-commerce we have the air main area and there we have view underscore orders page now we need to actually simply upload this to online web server here to this page no sorry not this page to the admin area basically In the admin area folder then into it we will just go and click upload after that we'll just click choose and we'll choose that from street docs e-commerce admin area and we have that page here view underscore orders open it has been just uploaded very small file and we'll go back after that you can see over here view underscore orders dot php this has been uploaded now simply come to this page refresh it and you can see nothing because you have to actually uh, I mean we have to actually edit that page the main page my account sorry uh, index page this is the index page for admin panel so we need to actually add this my order there in the fs set statement over here you can see there are many blocks of fs sets so we need to add one more we'll just copy this one copy and before that paste it here just change the values and that will be view underscore orders I mean we need to check the variable there I mean okay view underscore orders that is the variable out there and the pages in case that is clicked view orders is clicked so we need to call or include the page view underscore orders dot php and click save changes and now come back and just refresh this page because the URL is variable is active now you can see view all orders here product uh, sorry we need to actually change these titles as well but uh, any, anyways uh, that doesn't matter we'll change them but we have three orders over here inside the tables and we are uh, displaying the, them here I mean displaying them inside the admin panel you can see the orders are three and those orders we can see over here in the admin panel and the order date there is some problem we will just uh, correct that but uh, the orders and details are coming exactly I mean accurately uh, we'll simply go to that page view underscore orders Let's edit it uh, and we'll simply go and say okay that the first name is the serial number and the second name is basically a th which will be uh, customer email and th that's it one thing was and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, we need to actually say 795 must be should be the width of this table save changes now come back and just press your page and you can see so nice customer email products name in its picture quantity invoice number order date and action so we can just click to complete we click this you can see uh, complete order this is a link and you can see here the exact order ID is coming with that confirm order 5 confirm order 6 confirm orders uh, 7 so that's all done now we can 
simply when we click this so we can update the table to complete the order that is very simple thing but in next video we are coming and we will do this view payments part as well stay tuned